Hello, welcome to the Tea Party Hardy channel. And then the mob came for him. All you wokesters that think you're safe? Oh, you, nope, nope, just like Robespierre, they will come for you. Protesters set up a guillotine in front of Jeff Bezos' DC home, reports. What did it say when they protested? Well, a sign read, support our poor communities, not our wealthy men. Give us money, give us free stuff. We want to be communist. Support our community. Communism. Protesters have set up a guillotine outside of Washington, D.C. complex where Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos purportedly resides, according to reports. Several videos have circulated on social media showing what resembled an apparatus for beheading executions during the French Revolution in a residential area of the nation's capital. A sign read, support our poor communities, not our wealthy men. Yeah, the good old French Revolution, where, after the war was over, or the revolution was over, whatever you want to call it, they, yeah, they, they lopped off all their little heads. And in America, when America's revolution was over, they took the losers and said, sucks to be you, now what would you like for breakfast? And then, four score and a few more years later, the Civil War happened in America, the first one, not the one we're in now. And when it was over... The North said to the South, just like America said to the British loyalist, they said, hey, it sucks to be you, now what would you like for breakfast? And they never punished them, and that's what it was to be an American, was to win the war and not punish the losers. That's what we established in the Revolution, and it's what Abraham Lincoln and the government reinforced after the Civil War. And then a hundred years plus later, 2018 rolls around, and suddenly people said, Hey, wait a minute, we, we won the Civil War and we never punished the other side? <laughs> oh, well, we got some making up to do, don't we? Let's go get the statues. And then they did. And then 2020 came around and they said, We're not done punishing the South. And then when they were done punishing the South by taking down all their statues, then they started taking down the statues of the Founding Fathers. And, and the guy who wrote... Francis Scott Keyes, who wrote the National Anthem, and and then they went after Ulysses S. Grant and took his statue down in San Francisco, who defeated the Confederate losing army. So basically, they're trying to get rid of everybody. And let's see if any of these people agree with him. Uh, let's see, Bezos mob, where are you? Here we go. One video showed a female protester in D.C. with her face covered call out over a megaphone. When they become threatened, and we have no voice, the knives come out. First of all, when she says we have no voice, through a megaphone, pretty sure she doesn't know what she's talking about. But running into these nuances of constant um, contradictions, extremely normal when you're dealing with the left. A digital flyer circulated online titled, Abolish the Present. Reconstruct our future named his D.C. complex and advertised an event there Sunday evening from 4 to 8 p.m. And there you have it. There's your Marxism. Abolish the present and reconstruct our future. Straight up Karl Marxism. This is what happens when you go woke. You start wanting Marxism, if you didn't want it already. And then they come for you. He thought he'd be safe because he's one of them. Oh, it never works like that on their side. Never, never, never. All the people that were in the Empire thought they were safe, and then Darth Vader would strangle them just using his hand without ever touching their body. Yeah, and then they come for you. This is the America you want? You've got Chop as your capital. You've got Bezos as your first, well, he's not even close to the first, as your hoped next martyr. It's an ugly world out there if you choose their side. We'll see you in the future.